Hello everyone, this is Broby One Kenobi, also known as Kyle. And I'm back here playing some Modern Warfare 3, yet again. And the this game here is Headquarters Pro, as you probably saw. And it's on the map bootleg. And we're playing a team tactical as well. So it's four on four. Myself and three uh, three other friends. Now one of the guys gets kicked halfway through and he manages to join back in on our team which is nice um, but what you're about to see here is I guess I'd consider one of my best games if not my best game it, I don't know I don't know if it's better than the 55 and 0 kill confirmed I uploaded not that long ago however what this is <laughs> is uh, I get 86 kills in this game all with specialists so everything was with my gun rather than with uh, like kill streaks or whatever, and yeah, uh, including in this gameplay a 39 gun streak, which obviously you know what that means. A yep, yeah, my second Moab ever. Well, technically my third. I got one in infected, but I just didn't count that one because, well, it's infected. So let's be real. <laughs> um, yeah. So this uh, being my second actual Moab that I got to call in and everything. Um, it seems like small team games are where I do better with, um, for whatever reason I seem to play better when it's small teams, um, it also just happened to be a, uh, what's this, what's this gun called, the P90 with rapid fire and silencer, same gun I used in the last one as well, so, it's pretty cool, and, um, but yeah, this is, uh, now granted this is a 20 minute long and it's, um, what's it called headquarters is 20 minutes in this game and because these guys we played against were so bad we actually just cheesed the objective like we captured the first two I think and then didn't capture any for quite a while to be honest um, you see I start off this match I think like 15 and 0 before I finally die I don't know why I was so worried about this streak I was only at 15 it's really not that far and then I stopped caring about halfway through about what how far I was into my streak and that's when all of a sudden just, it, you know, I was in specialist bonus and I was playing pretty well. Got a few kills. And then all of a sudden, out of the corner of my eye, it says, Moab, ready for your go. And I'm like, really? <laughs> it really caught, caught, uh, caught up, snuck up on me in this one. And, um, I don't know, I think that's pretty cool. And, you know, I, in the beginning, I was trying to count down to see how many more kills I needed and, you know, whatnot. Whereas, you know, this one... Like, when I actually do get it, you'll see. See, there you get specialist bonus. Um, but when when I actually do get it, you'll see, like... I, it, yeah, I don't know. It just... <laughs> to me, it was very weird. Um, didn't see it coming. And it's pretty cool. So, between myself and my friend Balls, who was there for the first one as well... Um, actually, I think everybody who was in the first one is in this game, too. Now that I think about it. Yep. Only newcomer is Glenn or mm, okay. Um, yeah, so it's it's pretty cool. It's the same guys, but my, what I was trying to say before before I get distracted because I'm very easily distracted was balls and myself combined for 160 kills in this game. And yes, it's a 20 minute game, but even still, that's you know 80 kills in a normal game. So pretty cool. Um, yeah, you know, I'm not going to be claiming any sort of records or that this is such an amazing game that I got 86 kills, but I'm really proud of it because I'm not that great of a player. And, you know, if I was to trim this gameplay down to just that 39 kill streak, which was pretty awesome, by the way, uh, if I was to trim the gameplay down to just that, you know, it'd be really cool. Like, it wouldn't matter that the game lasted 20 minutes. You know, it just... Like I said, I'm proud of it, and you're going to see it, so hopefully you will enjoy this gameplay as much as I did, because, like I said, I enjoyed it. And also, why does my phone always insist on going off while I'm playing this, or recording, I should say. Um, what I was trying to say before my phone just distracted me was, these guys that we played against, we played against them for about, I don't know, maybe ten games in a row, something like that, and... Um, they were, they were bad. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. They were probably the some of the worst players we played against. And you know, it goes without say that if a good gameplay happens, 
you kind of have to get lucky and play against some really bad players. Unless you're freaking, I don't know, Jay Nasty himself. But even, like, well, can't use him as an example because I feel like he's one of those guys that just fights around for lobbies that he can easily win against. Um, I don't know, I can't think of somebody who's like really amazingly good. But that's where I died, by the way, that first death. And I was kind of mad because I did not expect someone to be there. Um, but what are you going to do? So, these next couple lives, I, like, look at me, I was, like, all sad. Oh, man. But, um, these next couple lives, I try to keep track of how many kills I'm at. And it just, it ends up, I guess, distracting me. I think is I think that's really what happened. I got distracted when I was trying to play. So, anyway, um, like I said, 86 kills, including a 39 gun streak, all with specialist bonus, uh, or specialist strike package so all of it being with my gun none of it being with anything else so that's awesome well three I guess were with the Moab uh, I got a triple kill on the Moab so that was cool and um, beyond that uh, don't know I guess that's all I wanted to talk about about the gameplay um, I don't know, just sit back and enjoy pretty much these guys are bad oh yeah that that's what that's the other thing that happened this guy had dead man's hand uh, that's so annoying I forgot how much I despised death streaks death streaks were <clears throat> one of the epitomes of this game um, you know honestly if they there's a couple things where if they combine look at me getting a kill with the scoreboard up that's how bad these guys were um, if they took this game engine and like some of the features of this game like customizable strike packages per class and all that and implemented it into black ops 2 i think you'd have a pretty good game like neither of these games on their own anybody really actually thought were that great but if you combine the two taking all the best features from both i think you'd have a pretty good game um i don't know that it would be call of duty 4 because you know everybody's partial to call of duty 4 and um I don't know. I, I, I wish I had had the chance to play Call of Duty 4 when it was the main Call of Duty out and gotten into it like that, and I don't know how I died there. <laughs> um, but yeah, when it was the main Call of Duty out, because it would be pretty cool to have gotten that chance, but I didn't get into the game until Modern Warfare 2, and once Modern Warfare 2 hit, um, that was one of the ones that typically a lot of people uh, regard as the worst uh, Call of Duty game. Now, I, I would disagree with that. Uh, the one thing that Modern Warfare 2 had going for it was when you shot people, they died. It had stopping power. That's really, like, that's enough to put it ahead of most of these recent ones because, let's be honest, stopping power really balanced the game out. You can't sit there and tell me that if you had a choice between your bullets doing more damage per shot or being unseen on a radar, that you're always gonna pick the radar one you might have a class with that so like if the other team's spamming them or you wanna be stealthy and do some flanking like yeah maybe you would do it then but it's not gonna be your primary class it's you know I my favorite class to run in Modern Warfare 2 and I'm kinda getting I don't know this is just like a rant of sorts I guess my favorite class to run in Modern Warfare 2 was a <laughs> here's a reaper was a um the, what was the three perks? Scavenger, Stopping Power, and Ninja. And this was before I had a headset too, so it wasn't I wasn't using Ninja to sound whore, I was just using it as like... Because I felt like other people were listening to my footsteps. <laughs> so I used it as to keep myself off it. I wasn't really listening to footsteps, but you know. That's how it is. And um... Yeah, so my fair quest was those three with a Tar-21 silenced. And, um, what else? I don't know. Uh, it's, oh, Claymores, and I guess probably, what was the other equipment that it had? Sci uh, stun grenades, maybe? I don't remember. I don't remember if there was any equipment that was, like, worth using other than Claymores. Um, it was probably stuns. I don't remember, though. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. But that was my favorite class to run, bottom line is what I'm trying to say here. And, you know, it was, it was a lot of fun because it actually took, you know, your bullets would do damage, you'd get the kill. Like, if you actually shot where they are, they'd die. You don't have to shoot ahead of them or behind them or whatever, the free 
the hit detection is in these new games. But um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much that was my Modern Warfare 2 setup. Black the first Black Ops I was pretty pretty good at. Um, my favorite one when that well, that's when I first got a headset, and my favorite thing to use in that was um, Ghost, uh, Sleight of Hand, and Ninja. And yes, I was one of those guys, but I did not like camp with it. I would, I'd play a lot of domination, and I played a lot solo in that game. And I played domination, and I'd just run flank routes between A and C, and I'd stay the hell away from B because, as we all know, Treyarch maps B is a death trap. Yes, this is true. Infinity Ward's maps, I think, are generally better than uh, Black Ops or Infinity or what's it called, Treyarch, because. Infinity Ward doesn't just lay out a straight linear map. They'll lay out like many different routes you can run across. They'll lay it out kind of in a square or circular shape or something like that. It's not just straight up and down. And like, you know, I know a lot of people like hijacked and Nuketown for whatever stupid reason. Seriously, if you're watching this and you hear me talk about this question, what's. Answer me this. What is so good about Nuketown or hijacked or whatever that makes everybody like wet when they hear about it like I don't know I can't get into it and there's my next death <laughs> but what makes everybody so excited about freaking nuketown and hijacked I never understood it um like I don't mind small maps but those are just ridiculous like there is no flank routes on those maps unless you get really dumb players who don't watch their backs but it's very rare that you get something like that um, anyway, I guess what I also wanted to talk about was, where's this guy, oh, <laughs> I guess what I also wanted to talk about while I was here is some updates for the channel, um, as you guys probably have seen, I did start a Road to Commander series in Black Ops 2, and this is Balls getting, I think, his second AC-130 in one life here, and, um, you know, I did see, did start that Road to Commander series, so, that's going on. It's just a way for me to keep Call of Duty on the channel consistently until um, I can get, like save up some gameplays or something. I don't know, I thought it would be a cool idea and like it gives me a chance to do some live commentaries which is different than I would normally do. And that was a dumb move by me there. But yeah, the Road to Commander series, I keep getting distracted by the gameplay at hand. This is actually the first time I've watched it back since I got the gameplay. So bear with me if I act all ADD here. But, what I'm trying to say, I think, is, uh, updates. Yeah, so I started that Road to Commander series. Um, I'm gonna try to bring you as many of these, like, decent Black Ops 2 or Modern Warfare 3 or whatever gameplays that we happen to be playing at the time. I'll try to bring you some of those. Uh, we'll see. You know, the, it definitely depends on the quality of gameplay that I can actually get. And, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. Right now I don't have too many. I have this one and um, I, there is a domination that we played in in this game as well against I think these same people where we win 200 to 14 which I may post that one as well because I, as it, I think what the term that I've heard called for that is it's an underage and how did this guy not see me? <laughs> um, but we got an underage I think is what it's called in domination basically where if you... Uh, hold the other team to under 18 points it's an underage if you get what I mean um, supposed to be very hard to do but you know we did it and um, I think this is the streak where I go on my really long streak by the way um, what was I saying oh so yeah don't have too many gameplays saved up for Call of Duty do plan on continuing with Sunburn Islands and Feed the Beast those are two uh, two things that I'll keep going, as well as Splinter Cell. Those three series are not going to go anywhere. Um, I'm enjoying all them, as well as, like I said, the Call of Duty stuff, because uh, I do enjoy it as much as it makes me frustrated sometimes. But, um, so you, you can look forward to all those staying put. Um, also, very on the fence right now with running uh, my own Super Hostile series again. Now, I know I started Kaizo Caverns, but it didn't go very well um, and what I was thinking of doing was uh, doing my own but on a map that maybe is a little easier than Kaizo Caverns because from what I've heard Kaizo Caverns is pretty tough 
I watched uh, a playthrough of it, and it seemed like with four people, even it took them a really long time to get going in that map. And uh, I feel like Sunburn Islands would have been a better one for me to just start with solo, but uh, I'm going to save. The next one I want to try is Infernal Sky, but I want to do that one with people. I want to try to get four people to do it with me because people who are noobs at Minecraft can actually, I think, should I, shouldn't have too difficult of a time doing Infernal Sky. So that's probably going to be the next one I do. I'll probably bring in Walsh and maybe Tim and whoever else I can get at that point. Don't know. I'd like to have four people, but if we can only get three, that's fine too. Um, and then what else? Uh, don't know. I might do... I think that's about it for all the series I wanted to cover. Um, yeah, I, I would like to get to GTA 3 again as well. But we'll see. Uh, if I do, it's going to be, um, they're going to be short episodes as well like they were before. They were only, I think, 10 minutes. So, I'll probably get to that at some point. You know, it's one of those things, whenever I've had the time for it, I really haven't been in the mood. And vice versa, when I've been in the mood to record it, I just haven't had the time. So, it's something I'll get to. I'm not sure exactly when yet, but I will finish GTA 3. I'd like to do 3 and Vice City before 5 comes out. Um, so, we'll see. And see how many times I come close to dying in this. It's <laughs> pretty ridiculous, if you ask me. Um... So yeah, well, you know, we'll see where the channel takes me. Um, growing pretty decently so far. I'm gaining at least like two, three subscribers a week. It seems like now. So, you know, it doesn't. I know it's not like a ton. Oh yeah, it's a lot. But, you know, I only have 42 or something like that right now. So, pretty cool. I'm trying to diversify my channel a little bit and play other games other than just. Um. Call of Duty and Minecraft like I was doing before. Um, especially single player Minecraft. I was doing a lot of that. But I... Like I said, I do like the Super Hostile. Plan on doing that again. And see, there it is. It snuck up on me again. The Moab. <laughs> but, um, pretty cool, right? I don't know how long that one was, but it was pretty long Moab, I believe. Like four minutes. And then I just go on a tear here, because I asked my team, my friends, I was like, should I call it in yet? And they're like, nah, nah, save it. So, you know, see, I get to go on a little bit of a tear here. Now that I've gotten it, like, I'm, like, no holds barred here. I'm just running around, killing people as quickly as I can. It's funny how, uh, this game works like that, where you can just... Um, what's, what am I trying to say here? It's funny how the game works like that, where, like, as soon as you get something, then you just go no holds barred, and, like, you get so many kills a lot quicker. Like, that Moab probably took me four minutes. The other 15 kills after that probably took me, like, a minute and a half, you know? This is where I basically take out their whole team right here. Yeah, pretty cool, right? <laughs> um, so, yeah. This is the Moab. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, this was a lot of fun. Um, I feel like I prayed, prayed, played pretty well. And there I go, I called in. So pretty sweet you're gonna see these guys uh they're all back here and <laughs> look I killed them all off then they respawn into another death here and got a knife the air like everybody does with the Moab and spin around randomly so I thought that was pretty cool so that's my second Moab ever that I've called in cool stuff cool stuff um anywho so what else did I want to talk about I got a couple about another minute and a half left um, I guess that's gonna be a, do it for the updates. There's my death finally. Um, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Would have been nice to have gotten a hundred kills in this, uh, but sadly I did not. Uh, if I had played a little bit more aggressively and maybe I don't know, generally just tried a little harder, <laughs> I probably could have gotten it. But yeah, what are you gonna do? I'll take the 86 kill one and uh, go on from that. Maybe I'll keep playing some Modern Warfare 3 on occasion and. Uh, see if I can't get more of these because you know this game as much as I ragged on it when it was new and I still do it you know it has its it has its pluses and minuses as do all the Call of Duty games and so you know you gotta take the positives and take the uh, negatives and all that you know there's certain things that really annoy you like uh, 
for me it was Sitrep Pro in this game. In Black Ops 2, it's the Remington. Just can't stand it. I should just ask some of my friends I played with today. I was raging hard over the Remington today. But anyway, this gameplay is just about over finally. It's a long ass game. So those are the updates I wanted to bring to you. I may also try to pull out like an emulator type game like a Pokemon or a, I don't know, Turbo Graphics game. I'm not sure on that yet. So we will see. Got some big plans in store and uh, hopefully a lot of more entertaining gameplays for you guys to watch. So I hope you all enjoyed this one. And um, yeah. So go ahead and leave me a like if you liked it, and subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.